Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that there are two lines L1 and L2. Both of them pass through the origin and they trisect the line segment of line L which is given by the equation 9x plus 5y equals 45 between the axis. And the question further tells us if m1 and m2 are the slopes of these two lines l1 and l2, then the further question is asking us is point of intersection of this line and the line which is given to us here is y equals m1 plus m2 into x. So we have been asked point of intersection of this line with L. It lies on which of the following lines? And if I talk about answer choices, the first answer choice is 6x minus y equals 15. The second answer choice given to us here is 6x plus y equals 10. The third answer choice we have been given here is y minus x equals 5. And the fourth answer choice we have been given here is y minus 2x equals to 5. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's see the solution. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it also motivates me to put up better content with trying to make the solutions as easy as possible. Let's see the solution now. So if I talk about the question, it's telling me that there are two lines L1 and L2 which pass through the origin and they trisect this line segment L. So let's first understand where does this line segment L lie on the axis. So I have been given the equation which says 9x plus 5y equals 45. So if I want to find the x and y coordinates here where the line is intersecting on the x axis and y axis, I'll put y as 0. I get 9x is 45. So x becomes 5. And if I put x as 0, I get 5y is 45, which makes y as 9. So I get the two coordinates. One is 5 comma 0 on x axis and 0 comma 9 on y axis. So let's say this. So I have these two coordinates with me. This becomes your line L which is touching on both x and y axis. Now further it's telling me that there are two more lines L1 and L2 which basically trisect this line segment L. So let's say this is your one line and the other is your this line L2. So we have this L1, let's say this is L1 and this is L2. So let's say this is intersecting at a point A and this is intersecting at point B. And since they are trisecting, it basically means that the two points are dividing the line segment L from here till here in three parts. So if I see for A, this is two times and this is one time and for b it is this is this entire thing is two times and the remaining part is one times so basically if i mention this points also let's say this is c and this is point d so a divides c d internally in the ratio 1 is to 2 and B if I see it divides the same line segment C D internally in the ratio so B divides C and D in the ratio 2 is to 1 so if I use the idea for internal formula for sectional division 
so using sectional formula for internal division we know x coordinate i can just find out by mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n and y coordinate i can just find it out by my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n where the first idea if i apply here it says that your a coordinate divides cd internally in the ratio 1 is to 2 so if i see for c and d c is x1 y1 d is x2 y2 and c coordinates we know it's 5 0 and for d it is 0 9 so we have this let's use the idea of internal division and solve this so for a the m is to n ratio is 2 is to 1 uh, sorry 1 is to 2 not 2 is to 1 so if i use that for finding the coordinates of a first x coordinate is given as 1 and m is m is 1 and n is 2 and for y also m is 1 and n is 2 x2 x1 if i see x2 is 0 x1 is 5 and here y2 is 9 and y1 is 0 so you get x coordinate that is 10 divided by 3 here you get y coordinate that is 9 divided by 3 which is 3 so you get your coordinates of a already 10 over 3 comma 3 now if i find the coordinates of b the ratio is 2 is to 1 so 2 1 2 plus 1 and again 2 for y also m is 2 and n is 1 now let's see again same thing x2 x1 if i see x2 is 0 and x1 is 5 and y2 is 9 and y1 is 0 so i get from here again 5 over 3 and this becomes 18 over 3 which is 6 so i have the coordinates of b as well with me so a i know it is 10 over 3 comma 3 and b we know it is 5 over 3 comma 6 so i have this a b now once i have both the coordinates a and b i know both of these lines l1 and l2 also pass through the origin 0 comma 0 now if i find the slopes of lines l1 and l2 i know for l1 the coordinates are origin 0 comma 0 and a so if i find the slope of this line using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 i know the coordinates are 10 over 3 comma 3 and 0 0 so 3 minus 0 10 over 3 minus 0 that gives you 3 divided by 10 over 3. so that is 9 over 10 and if I see for line L2, the slope is again same y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, where x2, y2 we have 5 by 3 and 6, so 6 minus 0, 5 over 3 minus 0, so 6 over 5 over 3. So this gives you 18 over 5. I have both the slopes with me. Now let's just find the equation of the new line that is given to us in the form y equals m1 plus m2 into x. That gives me 9 over 10 plus 18 over 5 x. If I make the denominator same, I'll multiply this with 2. That gives you 9 plus 36, 45 divided by 10 x. So I have this equation of line y is 45 over 10 x. And we have been told that the point of intersection needs to be found out of this line with your given line L. So if I use this and this, I need to solve them two simultaneously. So I have the equation with me 9x plus 5y equals 45. And I know already y is 45 over 10. So 9x plus 45 over 10x and this 5 also is multiplied, which is equals to 45. So if I solve for this 5 1s, 5 2s, I get from here 9x plus 45x. So if I want to make the denominator 2 here also, I get 18 plus 45. X divided by 2 equals 45. So from here I get X is 45 into 2 divided by 45 plus 18 which is 63. So from here if I try to cancel 9 fives, 9 sevens, so that X is 10 over 7. Now once I have X as 10 over 7, we need to find y also here 
So if I find the y value, let's see. So I get from here the y value, which is 45 over 10 x. So 45 over 10 x in this case is 10 over 7. This cancels y becomes 45 over 7. So x we know here it is 45 over 10 and y here is 45 over 7. Now the question tells you that this point of intersection what you've got, it lies on which of the line. So let's figure out that. So we know x is 10 over 7 and y is 45 over 7. So if I put that here and see which of them matches for the answer. So 6 times x we have been given here now as 10 over 7. Y we have got as 45 over 7. So 6 into 10, so 60 over 7 minus 45 over 7. That gives you 15 over 7, which does not match with this 15. So this is not the correct answer choice. Here, if I put it, 6 into 10, 60 over 7, 45 over 7, that's 105 over 7. So that also doesn't match. Because 105 over 7, if I try to solve it also, it's going to give you 15. But here it is given 10. So this also is not the correct answer choice. Here, if I put it, 45 over 7 minus 10 over 7, 35 over 7, which is 5. This matches. So this might be the answer. But let's check the option D also. 45 over 7 minus 2 into x, which is 20 over 7. So we get 25 over 7. That also doesn't match with 5. So we get this answer choice also can. So from this idea, we get the answer choice that is present is option C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on GWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.